So six more countries are now set to enter BRICS as full members from the 1st of January 2024. It's an expansion which has been pressed by China and also welcomed by India, two neighbours involved in border strife and they're competing as well. But what does it mean for BRICS and especially India? Once again, New Delhi is back in the thick of global geopolitics of things, chairing summits and negotiating place at the high table of global governance. Now, while experts argue that the ability of BRICS to reorder or steer the global economy in any significant manner is deeply suspect, some analysts argue that the bloc's appetite to create economic agreements amongst its own members is limited and its historical capability to influence global geopolitics overestimated. But going forward, this club is capable of influencing the future of world politics. We have seen just the first round of expansion of the BRICS bloc. There are questions now where the BRICS is going to be too big and unwieldy. More expansions may follow and a list of prospective partner countries is set to be drawn up by the next summit. Now the second big point is, do the interests of BRICS members align? It looks difficult with members like Iran. As far as problems for India are concerned, well, India is trying to balance Washington with BRICS. The expansion pushed by China now poses the question whether it's a diplomatic win for China. India nonetheless has pos positioned itself as a key consensus maker, but it's crucial to note that Brazil was opposed to the BRICS club expansion. Meanwhile, geopolitical analysts believe the entry of Saudi Arabia will give more heft. Meanwhile, at their first direct conversation in over nine months, Prime Minister Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping seem to have remained at their respective positions on the border standoff. While China publicly claimed that the informal talks were based on an Indian request, top government sources have refuted it, clarifying that there was a pending request from the Chinese side. Our sources said the two leaders, however, had an informal conversation at the leaders' lounge during the BRICS summit in Johannesburg. The two leaders in the meeting agreed to work for expeditious de-escalation along the entire line of actual control, where tensions have been high since June 2020, when the two sides clashed in eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley.